All right, this is a percent yield problem. And percent yield is a way of measuring how well you did in a reaction when you actually carry it out in the lab. So if you look at the formula for percent yield, you have actual yield divided by theoretical yield and then multiply by 100 to make it a percent. Now you have to remember that the word yield in chemistry means a product. So when we're talking about yield, we're always talking about numbers that are masses or volumes for products in the reaction. The actual yield is the amount of product that is actually produced in a chemical reaction. And so because you're not going to get up and do a chemical reaction more than likely um, during a test or a quiz, that number is usually given to you. And the theoretical yield is how much you should produce based on your math calculations. So that one you will have to calculate by doing either a mass volume, a volume volume, or a mass mass problem. Okay, so let's try this and see how we do. The example problem says, based on the given balanced reaction, reacting 37 of grams of aluminum uh, produces 60.6 .6 grams of chromium. What's the percent yield for this process? So if you go through the problem like you normally would, you were given 37 grams of aluminum, and you were given 60.6 .6 grams of chromium. Now, when you are given a problem like this on a quiz or a test, you're going to have to ask yourself, which one is the yield? And if you were thinking back to what I had just said, yields are always products. So this 60.6 .6 is the yield. And I'm going to move that over here, and I'm going to label that as our actual yield. That's actually what was produced. The question is, what should we have gotten? That's the theoretical yield. So anytime you've solved for a question mark in all of the problems you guys have done, the question mark is really, in theory, what you should get, or theoretical yield. So now you would set up a mass, mass problem like you've done. So you would start with 37 grams of aluminum, and you would want to convert that to moles of aluminum. So you have one mole over 26.98 grams. Then you want to move away from moles of aluminum and instead convert that to moles of chromium. And this is your mole ratio step, so that is where your coefficients are used. You have a 2 in front of the chromium and a 2 in front of the aluminum. That's a 2 over 2 ratio. And then the last step is to move from moles of chromium to grams of chromium. For every one mole, there are 52.00 grams. So if you do this math problem, you will get an answer of 71.3 grams. Okay, That is your theoretical yield. To solve for the percent yield, you need actual divided by the theoretical and multiply by 100. So actual was given in the problem of 60.6 .6 grams. The theoretical we just solved for as 71.3 grams. We multiply by 100. Our calculator gives us like 84.99 something percent. So with three significant digits, we want to call that 85.0% on that. And that's how you do percent yield.